Today I want to share three reasons why I use V-flats as negative fill in fashion and beauty photography. Lindsay Adler here, and I use V-flats all the time. I use them for portraits in the studio, creative shoots on location. I mean, honestly, I just use them all the time for most of the shoots I do. I find them to be one of the most important tools to give me control because they control the spill or the bounce of light in my space. Now, real quick, let's talk about negative fill and what I mean by that. The idea behind negative fill is that I use the black side of a V-flat to prevent unwanted bounce of light. It can actually absorb light as well, and this is so important, especially if you're shooting in a small space with white walls and light is just bouncing off of every surface. It's your black V-flats that prevent the unwanted bounce of light, which gives you control over light in your space. And for me, control is one of the things I love about studio lighting. It's definitely something that I hope that you see in my work. I love that control. Now my fashion and beauty photography, you'll notice I control everything. The clothing, the makeup, the lighting, the background, and V-flats are just another element of control. So let's take a look at the three main ways I personally use negative fill in my work. Adding negative fill on either side of the subject's face is a fantastic way to emphasize their features. It actually carves out the cheekbones, carves out the jawline because it absorbs any bounced light. Now I find this particularly gorgeous for close-up shots, especially if I'm using a broad flat light because that sort of light doesn't sculpt the features. Uh, when I'm using a flat light, I still want to flatter my subject, but I don't have that much control. So adding negative fill to the shadows, when I introduce it on either side of the face, it just makes those cheekbones pop. Now in this example, I set up a scrim in front of a beige background and I used a super soft light. The light was beautiful for sure and I love the catch lights, but I definitely felt like I needed a little bit more sculpting and I wanted to show her beautiful cheekbones. So we brought in a V-flat world V-flat on either side of the face, and you can see the huge difference it makes in defining her bone structure. In mid-length and full-length fashion shots, using negative fill is a great way to add definition to the side of the body and the sides of the subject, making the edges and the shadows just richer. Now, I use this technique when I'm shooting in high contrast black and white all the time because that little bit of negative fill creates a sharper, more visible edge on my subject. It adds what I would think of as just a little bit more dimensionality and a little bit more drama, and I love those two things. It looks almost like the edges are almost drawn on, and it really emphasizes them. In this shot, I used a fashion gray background and a large umbrella with diffusion to the left of the frame. Now, the results look nice, but when I introduce a V-flat world V-flat on either side of my subject, Notice how the edges of the subject become more defined. You can really see the shadow areas. They become more crisp. And I love this effect because it's subtle, but also adds a little bit more drama. This last example of negative fill is not really negative fill per se. It's more of flagging. And flagging occurs when you use something to block the light. And I use V-flats all the time to control the tonality of my background. I can make a light background appear darker, a washed out background appear a little bit richer. And I do this by adding V-flats to prevent the light from reaching the background. I, I do this and I love it all the time because I can use a medium gray background and then I can darken that background by changing the angle of my light or feathering or using a V-flat to block that light. So let's take a look at a really fun creative example of this idea in practice. For this shot, I'm using a savage primary red background because it matches her dress and I was looking to emphasize that pop of color. And when I took the shot, I felt like the background was just competing with her a little bit. Maybe it would look better a little darker and I'd like to achieve that in camera. So what I did is I added a V-flat world V-flat in between the main light and the background. But instead of blocking the entire background to darken it, I actually purposely cast a shadow directly behind the subject right down the middle. And I felt like this added a creative, fun graphic shape to make the background more interesting, but allowing our eye to still be drawn to our beautiful model. So do you see the power of negative fill? If you are in a small white space, white walls, this is going to be life changing for you. Be sure to check out V-flat World V-flats because they're great if you wanna take them on the go or if you're shooting in a space with a little bit shorter ceilings.
If you'd like to see the gear used in this video, check out the links below or visit adorama.com and be sure to stay tuned because I have a ton of great tutorials coming your way. See you next time.